Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to discuss about the SPFX development environment compatibility. So prior to going into deeper of this topic, I want to explain that SPFX comes with many versions as SPFX is a evolving technology for SharePoint custom development where Microsoft keep on releasing the new versions to do the custom development and each version of SPFX support different versions of Node.js as well as different version of TypeScript. So let's look into this tabular information which is being provided by Microsoft that gives us the clarity which SPFX version supports which Node.js. So let's look into this. So guys I am into SPFX documentation which is being provided by Microsoft and in this URL you will find the compatibility information. So for example if you look into this tabular information you will find that the current version which is being Microsoft has released is 1.14 and the Node.js it supports is LTS version 12 and LTS version 14 and which NPM it supports it support version 5 and the version 6 and the type is script which is being supported by this SPFX version is version 3.9 and react version 16.13.1 is being supported. So you must be asking that why it is matters. That is because many of the SPFX development has been done earlier and those development if they want to implement a new feature which is being available in SPFX 1.14 then those version must be upgraded and if it is being upgraded to new SPFX then your development environment must have these node.js these npm as well as these type script and if you are using react then you can use version 16.13 with SPFX 1.14. So guys, I would suggest that you should bookmark this page and that you can refer whenever you start development in SPFX and you want to know about which version is being supported with which node, which NPM, which type of script as well as which React if you are using React framework. For our course, I have been using No framework as well as React framework both. So guys, I would suggest that after this session, you must visit this page and where you will get all the information about the SPFX versions and which version was the first version and which of the node it is being supported and which NPM it has used when it was version 1.0.0. All those information, whichever you want to know. So guys, these details are very important details. So on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Take care.